Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another dupe versus thrift video. Today we are focusing on antique farmhouse. <laughs> I already know that a lot of you are looking at this and you're drooling. Okay. This like this home decor is so beautiful. Get ready to go down the rabbit hole because you just can't stop looking. Their home decor is so beautiful, but I knew that I could find thrifted items for a fraction of the cost. First dupe I have for you is this lamp display riser. Don't know why it's called a lamp display. Um, I, I guess maybe you could fit a lamp, but anyways, it was $36. It was absolutely beautiful. It reminded me of the French country vibe that we're all loving so much. And I knew I have thrifted something that looks similar to that. And sure enough, I come over here because you guys know I got my own thrift store and I saw these $4.99. These things are made of like concrete. I don't know. They are so heavy. I'm like, do you put a candle in there or a candle up top? Hank is being nosy, but these are gorgeous, you guys. And $4.99, it is a little bit smaller, but even if I calculated both of them, that would be $10 for two of these versus the $36 for the one riser on Antique Farmhouse. And to be honest, I kind of like these stone ones a little bit more and I could use them in multiple places. So that was a really easy do. This next one we're gonna DIY. So this was ornate plate riser and there was one of each. So you got two of them for $118. And right away I was like, these are beautiful. I need to recreate them because I can sell these in my booth and obviously use them to display things. So we're gonna go into the garage again. And my first vision was this one right here. It reminded me of the taller riser in the picture. That was $4.99 from Savers. And then for the shorter one, I wanted to grab this metallic one. That one, the price isn't on there. I think maybe I paid $3.99 for it. But we also need the tops to it. So here's my little wood pile. I knew that I had thrifted like a, a cutting board. Well, here's a Lazy Susan. I'm gonna attempt to use that for the top of the larger one because the round is a lot bigger. And then when I was in Utah and was thrifting, I found a cutting board and I knew that I could probably use that on the smaller one. So let me show you how we are going to dupe the antique farmhouse ones. We are gonna start by taking these outside and I wanted to show you just how beautiful the day is. It is so, look at my willow tree. Okay, so we are gonna take shellac. This is clear shellac and you could get this at any hardware store and it is going to block any stains. It blocks odors and it's non-toxic and hypoallergenic. I will either use this or my DIY salvation solution wood blocker whenever I paint something, especially a light color. But when I'm doing details, I prefer the spray because it's just way easier. And this stuff dries really fast. So after I coat all that, for our smaller riser and our bigger one, we are gonna go in with the new JRV Cottage color in crockery. Now, the reason I decided to go with this specific paint versus DIY paint in faded burlap or sandy blonde was because it has a built-in sealer. And when I distress my white paint back, I do not want to distress it all the way down to this metallic color. I do not want that coming back down. And with DIY paints, they're water soluble. So as I start distressing it down, that would more likely come through. And I don't want that. I just want this color to show. So I did end up doing two coats on that one. Now for this one, I started up top and I started like stippling into all of the fine details. And then as I started going down towards the bottom of this candle holder, I was kind of like doing a messy coat. And I was like, you know what? This looks good. Cause this candle holder was more of like a wood color. And I was like, once I distress that vintage linen down, you're gonna see the crockery color 
and that beautiful dark wood color, which in our antique farmhouse inspiration, there are layers that look like are coming off of those risers. So I do that throughout the entire one. And then you guys, I take a baby wipe because the paint is still wet and I wipe it off the top a little bit, just so the entire candle holder is nice and uniform. So this is how the crockery color looks. It's dried and you could tell crockery, um, the cottage colors have a sheen to them because of that built-in sealer, but that's okay. We are gonna make it matte. So I'm gonna take Vintage Linen by DIY Paints. And remember y'all, all these paint products are available on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. And the link is always in the description box. So Vintage Linen is something I've been dipping into a lot. I'm almost out of my eight ounce sample bottle and it is the perfect white. So I covered the entire smaller riser with the white. With this one, I went back and I kind of did that messy coat. I did do a little bit more coverage, but I wanted all of those to peek through. Now we're gonna wet distress with a baby wipe. Because DIY paints are water soluble, they are reactivated with moisture. So it is so easy and effortless to wet distress projects. And I was, already loving this. And you can see that that crockery color is still intact. I am not getting any of that gold metallic com color coming through, just that beautiful creamy crock color. So I'm gonna continue distressing that down and, re and then I'm going to clear it with DIY clear wax. If y'all have not tried this wax, it is craft changing. Sorry if you hear my kids thumping around upstairs. <laughs> and then you guys, we're gonna take this epoxy from Gorilla Glue. I saw Zeb on uh, Zami and Jeb's, <laughs> Zeb's channel use this. And he suggested using it when creating risers because obviously you don't want the two pieces falling apart. So it did recommend to scuff up a slick surface. So that's why I did that with the sanding block. Then you um, use the syringe, push it down, and you want equal parts in there and you're gonna mix it for 20 seconds. Now there are more directions, so make sure you read your package. And then I'm going to smear this on the top. Now I didn't wanna use hot glue. I didn't wanna use Gorilla Glue. I wanna sell this in my booth and I wanna make it that if this sucker dropped, it is not breaking apart on anybody. Um, so that is why I decided to try this. And let me tell you, those toppers are not going anywhere, okay? So I added a little bit around the edges and then in the middle. Then I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna put it in the center of that smaller cutting board. And I did sand that cutting board down a little and cleaned it. Now, <laughs> you guys, this lazy Susan, $2.99, I take the bottom off, right? And then I go to clean the tag off with Goo Gone. And because of the material that this Lazy Susan was, it sucked it up. I tried staining it. It was not going anywhere. So I grabbed Liquid Patina Dark and Decrepit. And this has covered up water stains in the past for me. So I was like confident this was going to work. So when using Liquid Patina, it does dry very fast. So work in sections. I apply it and then I'll get a paper towel and I will wipe the excess off. Now, while that is drying, I'm gonna take my candle holder and I'm gonna fill the top of it with hot glue. And if y'all are like, what are you doing crazy lady? Well, this candle holder dips down so you can put a candle in it. And if I were to stick that wood round on top of the candle, it would only be sticking to that thin rim that's peeking out of the top that wasn't gonna hold anything. So I decided I was gonna fill it with hot glue. I know I could probably use resin, but resin has a tendency of kind of like bubbling up on the back if you don't pour like the exact right measurement. So with the hot glue, I felt I had more control because I could pat it down and level it out. So this was my way of doing it. And then you guys, I'm gonna take that um, epoxy again adhere them and then you want to put something weighted on top of them while they are drying and this is how our dupes turned out so antique farmhouse had two for 118 dollars we did two 
for $16. That's including the paint products that I put on here. So we got these, I mean, for dirt cheap. I mean, if you guys are bougie on a budget like me, then like things like this make me so happy that I can look and get inspired by something online. It might be out of my budget, but if you're willing to hunt at thrift stores, our garage sells, you can definitely get the look for less because let me tell you, these are beautiful. Those candles, the Wilton candles are still available on my website. So are those lavender beautiful pieces. All right, you guys, this next one, this one's an easy because it's an exact dupe. So I have been wanting one of these wood sugar molds for I don't know how long. However, the price tickets on some of these are insane. Antique Farmhouses is actually pretty good at $42, but they can go upwards to like $80 or more. Or more, sorry, I said R. But you guys, garage sale this weekend, this past weekend, look at what I found. 12 holes in there. This thing is so heavy. It's in perfect condition. And I got it for a steal of $10. I snatched this thing up right away, displayed it on my island, and look how gorga. Gorga. Oh my gosh, I saved $32 by just hunting some garage sales down. And if you guys cannot hear it in my voice, it makes me excited. If you guys are enjoying this video, will you please make sure to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button because it really is a free way of helping my channel. Thank you guys so much. So look at that. Mm, makes me so happy. I can't believe it's stunning. All right, for this one, we are going to do a little upcycle. So this hurricane holder is $42, and that's just for one of them, you guys, only one of them. It's beautiful, and I feel like last week when I went thrifting, I had found something very similar. So sure enough, I go over to my other shelf on the other side of the garage, and look at what I find. Look at those. If that is not a dupe, I don't know what is. I mean, is it exactly like? No, it is not, but look at that price tag. So $10 versus $42 for what? So I wanna try and light, lighten these up. So I take that easy off stove cleaner. I spray it all over. I let it set for probably like 10 minutes. Now I have used this technique before, so I was pretty darn confident coming into this. Well, y'all, I went back outside, I started scrubbing, and nothing was happening. Before, I mean, this is a messy, messy job using this stuff, but nothing was coming off of it, nothing at all. So I take it inside, I rinse it all off, still didn't even do anything. So I decide I'm gonna take bleach and I'm gonna do the bleaching method. It's, this is probably like 90% bleach, 10% water. And um, I let those sit for a while too, you guys. And again, I'm like, this. I mean, this is bleach, it, it has to work. Well, I don't know what material was in here, but it did not. So then I get my faded burlap and I get a baby wipe. I rub it on and it doesn't look like much now, but look at when it starts drying down, it looks like that weathered white wash. Look at that. That is what I was going for using those other methods. So I continue to do that. However, you guys, when I put my clear wax on, it totally like took away that like brightness of the white. I don't know why. I think it was just the material these bases were. There's still a little bit left, but this is how they turned out. So you can see they're a little bit more lighter and we got two of these for $10 and one of them on Antique Farmhouse was $42. So this was definitely a still. I think this is a very close dupe to the Antique Farmhouse. And if you guys want to see more Antique Farmhouse dupes, then make sure you comment Antique Farmhouse in the comment section. To our last one, I know you guys are like, oh, this is so short. <laughs> so I found these, these are three for $49. And Antique Farmhouse, I have to say, does have some really good prices, but there's still prices 
that I can't afford. So we are going to try and find something similar to these. I love the engraving on here. You guys know I love some wood. So I was certain that there was something in my garage that looked similar to this. And I found these candle holders. Come on, girl, look up, up, up. You gotta keep traveling in, in this garage. And there they are. So not a dupe, but the engraving that's on these is absolutely stunning. They were handmade in Thailand and these are heavy. They're actually not wood. They are some kind of glass, ceramic. I don't know, but they are so beautiful. So I just cleaned those up took that wax off, styled them. I think they could do with some shorter candles though. And these are so beautiful and nobody would ever know that I spent only $8 on the pair of these two candles. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this dupe versus thrip video. And if you want more of them, please comment dupe down in the comment section. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. I appreciate you all. Hey everyone, I am popping in here. I know I haven't been popping in in the front, or in the front, <laughs> in the beginning of the video, but to be honest, it's because I am not wearing like any makeup. I'm never ready. The kids are home for summer break and putting my unmakeup face in the front of a video probably isn't going to make people want to stay and watch. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Um, but I just wanted to hop on and say that I appreciate you guys all so very much. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support for watching my videos, trying to help me get back out there onto the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate y'all so much, like so very much that you choose to take the time to click on one of my videos, watch them, comment, like, it means the world to me. Um, for those of you that have made all these paint orders lately, like mind blown, like we're so blessed. Thank you so very much. I hope you guys are enjoying the dupes. Make sure you guys comment down below. Mwah.